Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the asymptote of the hyperbola x square over 9 minus y square over 4 is equal to 1. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is a asymptote is a straight line which tends to touch the given curve at infinity. And a symptom which is neither parallel to x-axis nor parallel to y-axis is called an oblique symptom of the curve. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now we have to find the asymptotes of this given hyperbola. Now we know that asymptote is a line which tends to touch the curve at infinity. So let y is equal to mx plus c be the asymptote of the given hyperbola x square over 9 minus y square over 4 is equal to 1. Now let this be equation number 1. So putting y is equal to mx plus c in equation number 1 we get x square over 9 minus mx plus c whole square over 4 is equal to 1 which further implies 4x square minus 9m square x square minus 9c square plus 18mcx is equal to 36. On solving this further implies 9m square minus 4 the whole into x square minus 18mcx plus 9 into c square plus 4 the whole is equal to 0. Now let this be equation number 2. Now if the line y is equal to mx plus c is an asymptote to the given hyperbola then it touches the hyperbola at infinity So this means both roots of this equation, that is of equation number 2, must be infinite. Now this is a quadratic equation in x. So for both roots to be infinite, the coefficient of x squared, that is a, should be equal to 0 and the coefficient of x which is b should be equal to 0. Therefore, 9m square minus 4 is equal to 0 and minus 18mc is equal to 0 which implies m square is equal to 4 by 9 and c is equal to 0 which further implies m is equal to plus minus 2 by 3 and c is equal to 0. Now putting the values of m and c in the equation of the symptom which we have taken as y is equal to mx plus c, we get 
y is equal to plus minus 2 by 3 into x plus 0, which further implies y is equal to plus minus 2 by 3 into x. Hence, the equations of the asymptotes of the given hyperbola are now here considering the positive sign we will get the equation of one asymptote that will be 2x minus 3 y is equal to 0 and now considering the negative sign here and for this only we will get the second equation that is 2x plus 3y is equal to 0. So these are the equations of the asymptotes of the given hyperbola. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.